Well guys, it's uh, Mother's Day weekend, so I think we're gonna pull out the trailer and uh, clean it up, uh, dewinterize it. We got an antifreeze throughout the lines, so we gotta flush all that stuff out. And then I think we're gonna work on a flower bed for the backyard so we can plant some some flowers that we never got to plant last year that we were looking forward to, like um, some hostas. And um, so yeah, we'll make that out of landscaping ties and then we'll uh, fill that with uh, some dirt that we got laying around in the back. And we'll lay out some mulch and some landscaping fabric so we don't get weeds coming up through them. And other than that, I think it's just gonna be an easy weekend. Uh, we're gonna spend time with mommy and uh, enjoy the nice weather we have. Um, excited, it's spring. So, we've actually gone ahead and ordered some new uh, awning material online. So that's coming in the next couple weeks here. So we can replace that ripped fabric from when we bought the trailer. So yeah, we'll have an awning this year, which is great. Super excited for that. So here in Canada, we actually have to winterize our RV in the winter. So we run antifreeze through the lines. And then that way, um, when it gets below minus 40, minus 30, the water in the lines doesn't freeze. It uh, stays liquid. So that way it doesn't crack the PVC or PEX lines. So uh, now we're going to drain all the antifreeze out. We're going to flush a bunch of water through it. And then we're going to drain the tanks and the water heater. And then we're going to fill it up again and drain it again. And then that way you know you got all the antifreeze out of the system. So we'll fill it up. And then once we're done filling it, we'll come down here and crack this drain valve. Let all the pink antifreeze drain out. And then the exact same thing back here on the water heater. Come back here. There's usually a plug. I've already went and loosened it off so I could do this. But pull this plug. And your hot water heater drain. A lot of people don't realize too, if you uh, leave water in these hot water heaters after you use it, um, it'll create this awful smell like uh, rotten eggs. So I suggest you always pull this plug out every time you use your RV or well, hot water heater. So once you fill it, drain it, fill it again, and then let the taps all run, taps in the bathroom, taps in basically all your taps. If you have a shower outside, run that, drain your hot water heater, fill the hot water tank, fill it up again, do the same thing, run all your taps again and get all that antifreeze out of the lines, out of the tank, and you should be good. Um, I like to do it just the third time just to make sure there's no antifreeze in the lines, especially if you're gonna be drinking it, something like that. Hook up your, uh, your water filter after and you should be good to go. All right, so we got daddy's little helper. I got mommy's little helper. We're just moving some dirt. We pulled out the trailer. I'm gonna get some stuff ready for uh, camping season and obviously some more landscaping as well. You know I'll 
I'll find that in a week or so, right, Zelda? That's well. That's it. Are you burying your bones? Ready to mow the lawn? That's our daughter's solution. She's a pretty smart girl and pretty clever for coming up with that one. But she goes, this way I won't get the... She says, this way I won't get all the stuff in my eyes. And I said, sure, whatever works, kiddo. Look! Ew. <laughs> First cut of the year. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas. Throw me in open water, let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow, wind into my sail Away from things I let go, floating on the waves We go bottoms up, we go all the way When you're feeling down, push the <laughs> I went to go pull it out and it just ripped. And that's why we're replacing, replacing it. it. Well, it's a beautiful evening here in Alberta, Canada, and uh, Mike and I are just taking down the old awning. We, we ordered some new fabric from Pro Shade, so uh, we'll see how it works out, but it wasn't too costly. Uh, maybe we'll throw some links down below and uh, yeah, see how simple of a process this is. Take the set screw out, there'll be a set screw in here, then you can grab it. Easy as that, one, two, three. Then you put silicone in the track so that way the new one slides on nice. Okay, help me count how many. Two. Oh. Put it down? Yeah, you put it down. It's on one. Wow, 15. That thing is spun tight. Whew. Recommended vice grips. I decided to go with a company called Shade Pro. All right, once you've sprayed your track with WD-40, bent your corners and taped them off so they don't rip it. Really, you leave the plastic sleeve on this.
done. Yeah, I can pick your arm up. And then you're gonna set your end in. In the end. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrow. Can you put that This in is there? a mistake. I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. This guy off and it's bent, so we're gonna have to order a new arm. We'll replace that later, but for the time being, let's put see, it in. Let's see the bentness. It's. Oh, yeah. You know, I need a small square. This slides in the track. You mean a Robinson? A Robinson? <laughs> Repairs. Always fun. <laughs> I guess I'll slide that up. Look at that. I don't have any in. hard this is. Get your pinky wedged up in there. It's not easy. It doesn't work either. Are you filming this? Really? Are you struggling? <laughs> like how the heck? This is impossible. This should have been done before I freaking took it out. Struggle. Never undo these more than just what it takes to loosen them. Oh, that's horrible quality. All right. All right, we got it in. That's all that matters. Oh, that's fixed. Yeah, slide that back in the track. Put those set screws back in. So we use royalty free music from uh, Epidemic Sound. Uh, if you want to get uh, 12 months with 10% off and your first 30 days free, uh, try hitting that link down in the description below and start your free trial today.